question. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! All countries should immediately now activate their pandemic preparedness plans. What's really worrying about this is that we've never before seen influenza pick up bits and pieces of genetic material from birds, pigs, and humans and mix them all together to create an all, a, a completely new virus. This we have never seen before. The other thing I'm worried about is that we have in circulation in North America another type of a very, very close sibling to this virus. Both types are called H1N1 viruses. Mm -hmm. The other one is completely drug resistant. Mm -hmm. So no treatment would work. If the two ever combined together, we'd really have a mess. Okay, and I heard you speak earlier uh, in a different interview about this virus, and I guess you're kind of describing it there, just being sloppy. It's kind of a mess. You can't keep up with what this thing is and what it's doing and what it's going to do. Influenza is a very sloppy virus. When uh, influenza viruses replicate and make copies of themselves, their chromosomes literally fall to pieces. And they pick up whatever's in the environment around in the cell that they are infecting, whether it's a pig cell, a bird cell, a human cell, whatever it may be, and absorb that genetic material and then come back together again. It's a very sloppy process and it means that it's constantly mutating. And, and finally here, ma'am, um, I have to draw some kind of a historical comparisons to what we've seen before. I know the 1918, I believe it was the Spanish flu that claimed so many lives. Do they start off like this one? I guess, do you see some similarities in the way we're starting off with seeing this virus and how it's behaving and where it is and how it's spreading, similar to some of those major uh, pandemics in years past? Every pandemic has its own characteristics. Mm. In 1918, they didn't have commercial air travel, so mm. the virus was spread by troop movements in World War I from continent to continent. Today, everything goes faster, the speed of this is breathtaking, and it's because everybody's on the move and we have airplanes. So I don't think you can really compare the first steps of this to right. 1918. There are known knowns. There are things we know that we know. There are known unknowns. That is to say, there are things that we now know we don't know. But there are also unknown unknowns. There are things we do not know we don't know.